right, we are back for another episode. Another Ninja Turtles filled episode. Just leaving the house now, but we are headed up to uh, Ace Hardware to pick up some new bolts for the control panel. And we got the power cord in for that monitor, so we can go ahead and splice that into the uh, arcade's power. And then we should have a working monitor. Then we're just gonna kind of zip tie and tighten up some of the, uh, the wiring harness and that kind of junk that's in there. Meter everything out, and then hopefully we'll have a four-player uh, Turtles cab with Turtles in time. So, again, heading to Ace right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick up these bolts, and we'll pick this back up once we get to the shop. So we'll see you there. All right, so we're back at the shop, and sorry the fans are on it. It's hot today. Um, we're here working on Turtles again. Uh, i got to pull the power cord out of the truck real quick. Um, again, the power cord kind of plugs in here. We're gonna run that and then we're gonna power it on to make sure everything's working. Then we're gonna tighten up some of these grounds, things like that. Kind of clean all the wiring up, put the power supply back on, meter everything out, make sure we're good. And then we've got the board sitting over here. We're gonna plug that back in. And hopefully today we'll uh, see some, some stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab the power cord and start zip tying all these wires up. So here's a before. And once you see this again, we should see a pretty cleaned up cab. But we'll tighten everything up and we'll pick it back up. All right, so we got some stuff cleaned up here. We got the uh, oop, got the ground set up here on the frame there. We got that tied up, Let's organize this a bit. This plug won't be used because we're not using the ISO because it's, again, this monitor doesn't need that guy. Um, but I re-secured this power supply, so what I'm about to do now is go ahead and power it on without the board in. I just want to meter this power supply to make sure that we're getting our 12.5, negative five, all that stuff. And then basically once that's done, we're going to pull this piece of wood off and then we're going to tap into the AC coming in from the wall to power the cord that goes to the monitor. This way when the game gets power, that monitor is going to get power. So I'm going to go ahead and meter this out real quick. Um, hopefully this power supply is good. I'm probably going to replace it anyways. It's kind of old. But if it runs for now, we'll, we'll just do that until our, our power pro comes in. But I'm going to go ahead and meter that out and then we'll follow up and let you know what, how it turned out. All right. Ready for the uh, power on here. So we're not fully done wiring and everything. I still have to plug in, or still have to wire the uh, AC in. Right now it's kind of just going over here to my uh, power regulator. But, fans on, we got the board down here with everything plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and pull the safety switch. Walk around to the front here. And there we go, look at that, we got a picture. So I did notice that um, we're kind of maxed out on width. Um, so I'll probably have to get my CRT adjustment tools and, and use the horizontal width coil and kind of expand that a little bit. But there we go, we have turtles running. So now we're going to go ahead and wire up all the controls. i got to cut that uh, power cord and splice it into the uh, input of the cab so when we get power, the monitor gets power. But one hurdle down, we got that done. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut that power cord and see if we can get the uh, controls going. My toes! My toes! So about five seconds after I shut the camcorder off, uh, game goes dead. Uh, turns out I think the uh, original power cable here has issues. I metered it right at the uh, input down there and uh, completely zero AC. So I went ahead and cut this power cord that just came in, which we're going to splice in after the, the switch. But it had a big piece with a plug on it, so I went ahead and strip that down here. So we're gonna go ahead and splice that into the input down there, and then hopefully we'll have a more reliable thing, and I'll see if anything happened to the power supply from the spot. But I've got a new one at the house, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire this guy in and see if it makes any difference. All right, so good news. So I went ahead and fixed the, uh, I put a the new power cord in, um, and I went ahead and kind of did some, some new connectors and all that on the thing here. I'll try to show it to you. Let's check it out. So in here, it's not final, but I have all the new QBs on there. Um, put new connectors down there on the input. Uh, clip the ISO inputs and kind of ran that to the monitor cord, which is here. And now we come to the front. You see our game is back up and running. And the nice thing is now that if I come over here, I'm gonna hit the switch. Oh, sorry. Kill switch here. It shuts both the monitor and the power supply off. So I was lucky in looking around the arcade, I did actually have a brand new uh, hat power supply, so I'll go ahead and plug that up. But yeah, now when we pull the, uh, the kill switch here, 
both the monitor and the game board turned on. And we've got power here on the monitor. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the controls through, wire these beasts up. Might have to fix some hacks on that, but uh, we're getting there. Alright, so unfortunately we've kind of hit a dead end because I'm going to need some help before I go any further, but this whole thing is a rat's nest, as you can see, it's all chewed up, so we're going to go through all these probably tomorrow morning, um, pin everything out so I know what needs to go where, make sure there's good solid grounds. Luckily I've got a whole box over here of uh, quick disconnects and butt connectors and all that kind of stuff, so we'll go through this whole thing, kind of tighten these up, because this stuff's all just super loose and you know barely hanging on with these really thin Pico switches, but um, nothing's really working as far as the control panel goes. The uh, One of the coin doors is working, but there's no free play setting on this board, so we'll have to kind of set something up where we have buttons in the door, or we can also wire the start buttons up to credit as well. I don't really want to do that, but I don't know. But unfortunately, with being kind of colorblind, it, it's hard for me to kind of look at the stuff and see where it goes on the board, so I'll have to have Christy come up tomorrow and help me pin stuff out before I go into flipping great, but all in all, a good day. We got the monitor set up. Got to get the um, CRT adjustment tools to expand the uh, horizontal width a bit, but uh, other than that, the monitor looks great. Power is working properly. Got this bolted on with the new bolts from Ace. So all in all, a pretty good day. This will be a short episode, um, but I just wanted to kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on on the Turtles machine. For sure, next will be the Neo Geo and the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We know those are booting. Uh, we've got to kind of clean them up. And also, I wanted to show you guys this. Every game we get has so many tokens in it. So, if anybody needs about 5 billion tokens, let me know. But, uh, real quick, going to wrap this episode up. The lighting's terrible, I know. But, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, as always. Stick around for the next one. And, uh, hopefully we'll have a new game. Up at Flipping Great soon. See ya.